What's up guys, Justin here with another poorly reviewed beer or two. This is part two of our Oktoberfest series, the three-part six beer series where I'm reviewing uh, beers of the fall season. And so we're starting off with Bell's Brewery in Comstock, Michigan, and their Oktoberfest, uh, Oktoberfest beer. From the brewery, crafted as a flavorful session beer and perfect for autumn, Oktoberfest spends a full six weeks fermenting. With herbal hop aromas, this balanced amber lager focuses on lightly toasted malt that lends body without too much sweetness. Perfect for a week-long wedding celebration in Germany or the start of the Michigan autumn. And it checks in at 5.5% ABV. Let's give it a pour. Kind of a, I'd say an orange color as I hold it up to the light. Uh, very much see through. And not a lot of. I can see some carbonation shooting through the glass. Uh, not a lot of head, maybe half a finger. That's hanging around a little bit. Yeah, let's give it a, give it a taste. Nice uh, solid malt backbone. A little bit, a uh, little bit of carbonation hitting my palate pretty well as well. Something a little bit sweet, maybe uh, some honey or something like that. Yeah, I would call it a honey note. It's not super, not super strong, not super sweet, but it's definitely there is a sweetness there. It's definitely present. Um, but not, again, not overpowering, kind of in a nice place for me. Otherwise, kind of crackery, biscuity, as they say. And, um, uh, pretty tasty overall. Uh, kind of a little bit of, uh, just beerness, as, uh, if you will. They, that's just kind of, they say an amber lager, so, uh. A little bit of that greeny, just kind of greeny beer note, if you will. Um, pretty straightforward. Um, they cover pretty well. Biscuity, um, nice malt. I'm a big malt fan, as I've said many times before. So, uh, if I were to be a big Oktoberfest fan, they'd all they would all be like this. <laughs> so, um, really tasty, nice and malty. Uh, big. Uh, or a real nice, um, real nice beer by Bell's Brewery. All right, let's move on to our next beer. All right, cleared out my palate with a little bit of water and pulled the next beer out of the fridge from Left Hand Brewing Company in Longmont, Colorado. This is their Oktoberfest Mars and Lager. Uh, left hand has to say, this is no Festivus for the rest of us. On the contrary, we start brewing in the spring and it takes a full two months to reach lager perfection. Biscuity malty goodness dominates up front while the noble pedigree hops lend a properly spicy dry finish. Time to roast your chicken and, uh, and upend your stein before the air gets crisp, the leaves flame and fall, and the skies fade to black. This beer checks in at 6.6% ABV and 24 IBU. Let's give it a pour. Deeper color already, I can tell, than the bells. Yeah, that's a nice, pretty copper color. Kind of reddish hue, and, and when it's a little bit darker, and nice, nice copper color in the when I hold it up to the light. Uh, you see, not a lot of head on it. Very thin. Never really came around, and. Is dissipating fairly quickly. See a little bit in terms of bubbles shooting up, but uh, not much carbonation at all. Let's give it a try. Notice noticeably sweeter than the uh, than the bells. 
kind of a similar way, a, a multi, multi honey sweetness. Uh, I think a little more of the earthy spice note as well, but um, probably just a little, a little too far for me on the uh, on the sweetness scale. It's very much drinkable, and it really is delicious. But uh, just in terms of a personal preference, uh, I would probably not want to have too many of these. Yeah, solid malt backbone. Just a, a good amount of sweetness. Start starting to really taste like the, the, the cinnamon, nutmeg, fall spice kind of a... Kind of a flavor setup that I'm I'm not a big fan of. In addition, just to to just a a straight up sweetness. But uh, well executed beer by a left hand very much very much evokes autumn. And um, as I said, it, it's it's very drinkable. If if the the sweeter fall beers, Oktoberfest beers are your thing, then uh, this would be very much up your alley. Uh, for those of us that aren't so much on the a big fan of the sweet side, especially this uh, the spicy, spicy pumpkin pie spice sweetness, um, a little bit less so, but um, no doubt I can tell this is a, a real good effort from a uh, left hand brewing company. So before I get out of here, real quick, just some programming notes regarding the next few videos. Uh, yesterday I put out the the video about the Oktoberfest event held here in town at the Music Farm concert venue held by Craft and Draft. Uh, so that kind of uh, skewed my videos a little bit. And um, so at this point, there won't be any more videos this week. You'll start seeing videos next week, starting uh, the week of October the 10th. And that's going to include uh, the 50th video of Poorly Reviewed Beer. And that's going to be a very special tasting. I'm going to keep that secret for right now. And then uh, video number 51 will be part three of Oktoberfest. I have two more beers I want to do. And then uh, PRB 52 will be the ranking of all six beers uh, together. And those will all be released uh, next week into next weekend. So that's uh, the video schedule going forward for the next uh, 10 days. Uh, you can find all of our reviews, video and written, as well as news commentary and lots more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. You can also check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. Those links are in this, the description below. And if you feel so inclined, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. That's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. See you next time.